Harry in trouble. Penguin CEO demands $35 million refund after massive spare failure. Prince Harry's memoir Spare was a disaster for both author and publisher as it received harsh reviews and dismissal sales, leading Penguin Random House to ask the Duke of Sussex to refund Spare. $35 million. It was released on January 10, 2023. It's a candid and heartfelt account of Harry's life from childhood to his marriage to Meghan Markle and his decision to step away from their royal life. However, the book is bitter and self-pitying, rallying against his family and the monarchy, full of lies, exaggeration, and accusations. The book is met with a widespread criticism and ridicule from the public, media, and royal experts who accused Harry of being ungrateful, disloyal, and hypocritical. Many readers also found the book boring, repetitive, and poorly written, and ranked low on platforms like Goodreads and Amazon. According to expert analysis, Harry's book secured its position as the fourth lowest rated popular author in the past three years with an average score of 0 0.5 out of 5. 0 0.5 out of 5. In contrast, legends like Sir Paul McCartney soared with an impressive overall score of 4.75 out of 5 for his book The Lyrics, also published by Ping Random House. The poor reception of the Harry books also affected sales, which were much lower than expected, and according to the latest figures, Spare has only sold 200,000 copies worldwide, while the Lyrics have sold more than 2 million copies. The book also did not make the list of 10 best-selling books in the UK or US. Well, the Lyrics topped the charts in both countries. The disappointment of the performance of Harry's book has caused a huge loss for Penguin Random House, which is said to have paid Harry at least $20 million in advance for that memoir. The publisher had hoped that the book would be a global sensation and a lucrative investment, but instead it turned out to be a costly mistake and a PR nightmare. According to sources, the publisher is now demanding that Harry return the advance, or at least a significant portion of it, for failing to fulfill his end of the bargain. The publisher was also unhappy with Harry's lack of collaboration and promotion for the book, as he refused to do any interviews or events to support the book's launch. Sources claim that Harry did not want to return the money and actually blamed the publisher for the book's failure. He also accused the publisher of leaking the book to the press before its release date, which he believed damaged the book's reputation and eventually the sales. Harry's memoir actually has strained his relationship with his wife, who is said to be furious with him for wanting or rather writing the book and revealing their private life to the public. Megan, who also signed a deal with Penguin Random House for her own book, worried that Harry's book would affect her own prospects and her own reputation. Harry's memoir further damaged his relationship with his family and country as he alienated and offended many people with his harsh and unfounded criticisms. Many royal fans and commentators have called for Harry to be stripped of his royal titles and privileges and to apologize to his family and his country for its actions. Harry's memoir was a disaster for all involved and showed that he made a huge mistake in leaving his royal role than pursuing his Hollywood dreams. He lost the respect and support of his family, his country, and his publisher, and received nothing but ridicule and resentment. He proved that he was not a prince, a soldier, or a leader, but a spoiled and selfish child with no sense of duty or loyalty. He wrote his own downfall, and he has no one to blame.